Welcome. This series focuses on the shoulders, neck, wrists, and jaw. The only prop that you may need is some sort of tie, belt, strap, scarf, just something where you can have a little, you can have something to grab onto. And no worries if you don't have one. So let's begin, palms face down on the knees, close your eyes. As you draw your attention inwards, bring your breath into your shoulders. Notice what it feels like to connect to your shoulders. with your breath. Feel for slowing your breath down. Feel both of your sit bones on your chair. Take a few long breaths through your whole torso. What does it feel like to breathe through your whole pelvis? Your whole back. Notice those spaces where you don't usually bring breath. What does it feel like to breathe there? If you ever have difficulty in connecting to an area, you can put your hand on that area and breathe into your hand. Pay special attention again to breathing into shoulders. Notice how by breathing there, it does feel different from other areas of your body. What happens as you breathe into your neck? Notice how that's a different feeling and visual connection. And as you continue to feed yourself with long breaths, allowing your breath now to just feed your whole system without paying particular attention to one area, open your eyes. And let's begin by stretching out the neck. So we did some stretches for the neck in the joint series, and this will be a little different. Take your arms by your sides and spread fingers. Inhale, lengthen spine. As you exhale, lean over to your right and relax right ear down to right shoulder. As you keep spreading fingers, slide shoulder blades down. Be mindful that you're not collapsing. So keep rolling shoulder open and lengthen your spine. Feel the stretch that's happening in the left side of your neck. Notice how by spreading fingers and reaching your left arm further to the left, it deepens the stretch. You can keep leaning to your right as you keep spreading fingers and reaching arm out. If you want more, you can take your hand and gently bring your head down. You can also change the angle of the stretch according to where you put your chin. Take two more breaths into neck. Also feel the stretch that happens in your jaw and ear. And really get precise with your breath. So you're touching those areas with breath. Now to come out of this, take your right hand to the side of your head. Use your whole hand to pick your head up. 
Bring your torso back to center. Release hands down. Notice the difference in connection, the sensations in the left side of your neck. As you keep breathing into neck, lengthening your spine, let's do the other side. Take your left hand down by your side and reach your left arm out. Spread right fingers wide. You might notice a little snap, crackle, pop. And breathe into right side of neck now. You may have to work each side differently. Do keep your shoulders moving down away from your ears. Spread fingers. Keep opening up your chest. And as you breathe into right side of neck, maybe getting into jaw and ear. You may even want to hang your mouth open a little bit to give more softness to the jaw. Oftentimes, we don't even realize that we're holding our teeth, our mouth together. If you'd like, take your arm up over your head to deepen the stretch. Take one more breath into neck, jaw, and ear. Now take left hand to the side of your head. Use your whole hand to pick your head up. Bring yourself back to center. Notice how much longer and softer your neck feels and how much more connected you are to it. Side bend, also known as half moon. This time, take your right hand by your side. Notice if shoulders up to the ear, drag it down. Inhale, your left arm up and when you lift your arm up, turn your pinky inwards. That will just change the rotation of the shoulder. If you can only bring your arm up this high, that's fine. Inhale, lengthen spine. As you exhale, lean over towards your right. Keep sliding shoulder blades down. Keep your left sit bone on the ground. Feel the stretch that happens through your left hip, ribs, armpit, maybe even arm. Take three long breaths through the whole side of your body. Make sure you can really feel the breath here as you continue to stretch. And if you want to deepen the stretch, you can take your other arm up and really reach, pressing your left sit bone down as you stretch your arms further. And just be sure shoulders don't go up to the ears. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, press down through sit bones. Draw pelvic floor and belly in. Inhale, come back to center. And pause here. You can keep your arms up, or if you need to, bring them down. Press sit bones down. For an added bonus, interlace fingers. Press your palms skyward. You can take your hands on your strap and grab onto that as well. Whatever you do, take a few more breaths, grounding down through sit bones. Lengthen, lengthening up through your spine, shoulder blades moving down. Inhale and lift collarbones higher. Exhale, shoulders down. Now release your hands down. Take a breath and lengthen spine. Let's move to the other side. As you stay with your breath, inhale, turning right pinky in. Bring your arm up, lean over to the other side. You can either work one arm, which is enough. You can feel the whole stretch through your right side, or you can reach your other arm up. Keep pressing your right sit bone down as you breathe through the whole right side. Feel all the space and the length that you can make using your breath. Each time as you exhale, draw pelvic floor and belly in. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, press down through sit bones. Draw pelvic floor and low belly in. Inhale. Come back to center. And as you exhale, turning your fingertips upwards, relax your hands down. 
Notice the sides of your torso. Notice the length in your spine. Continuing with shoulders, eagle arms. Inhale, your elbows up to shoulder height. As you exhale, take right elbow over left elbow. Then you can start to draw your elbows up, shoulders down. If for some reason you're a little bit more flexible, you could grab onto wrists or forearms. For some of you, if you're a little tighter here, this could be enough. You could take your strap and grab onto your strap. That might be helpful. So you just take the strap or your scarf or belt and hold on to it. What you're feeling is a stretch right between your shoulder blades. So close your eyes, inhale into the back of your heart. Exhale, draw shoulder blades down, reach elbows forward. Inhale, right between shoulder blades. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, upper back. Exhale, shoulders down, elbows forward. One more breath, take a huge inhale, right into where you feel this the most. And as you exhale, release your hands. Notice how already your upper back may feel different. Let's move to the other side. Bring your elbows up, inhale. As you exhale, cross now left elbow over right. It may feel a little different. So you can either work this way, you can grab onto your strap. You can interlace your hands. You always wanna to go to a soft edge or a medium edge, but not to the deepest edge. Close your eyes. Inhale into back of heart. Exhale, shoulders down, reach your elbows forward. Just continue to feed with long, slow, deep breaths. Use your breath to touch into any of the tension between shoulder blades, back of heart, in your shoulders. Feel how the inhale creates space. And feel how the exhale helps dissolve. Keep your mind completely on where you feel this the most. And take two more breaths there. One more inhale. As you exhale, release your hands, palms face up. Notice the sensations through your hands, your wrists, your arms, upper back. If you need to, you can always just kind of move your arms out a little bit. But stay connected to the opening, the unlocking. What's nice about moving so slowly and mindfully is that you really have a much deeper connection to your body and you're aware of what's happening on a much more subtle level. Continuing with the shoulders. You may need your strap for this. Maybe come on the edge of your chair. Take your left hand down, turn your thumb backwards. Bend your left elbow. And then you can take your right hand to left elbow. So this can be enough. We have lots of different directions we can go in. Pay attention to what your healthy edge is. Healthy means not too much, not too little. Then, if you want, you can start to slide your hand up towards your upper back. And just stay here. Breathe all the way into your shoulder. From the back, this is what it looks like. So the hand starts here. You can use your elbow, your hand to grab on the elbow or not. And then you could slide your hand up. It may 
stop somewhere. So you just pause at where it stops. Keep breathing into your shoulder. Let's take three more breaths all the way into the shoulder. Make sure your breath actually gets in there. Releasing down. Other arm. Taking now your hand and bringing it back. Just due to different flexibility from old injuries or anything that's been replaced or torn, you might have different flexibility here. So either just hanging out here, grabbing onto elbow, you can start to ease it upwards. And wherever you stay, just focus and breathe. Make sure you're getting your breath into where you're feeling this. You can even take your shoulder back and elbow down to deepen the stretch. After your next exhale, release your hand down. Rest your palms facing up on your knees or thighs. The next part of this, take your arm up. And again, notice when I lift my arm, I'm turning my pinky in. So you may even feel that if you were to lift your arm straight up, you'll feel a different rotation in the shoulder versus turning your pinky in. Bend the elbow. You can either stay here, grab onto elbow again, and breathe. Make sure you're not jamming your neck. So you want to give a lot of space for your neck. For those of you feeling a little bit more flexible, aka adventurous, you could take your strap or your tie and then work both arms to this. Keep reaching elbows away from one another, breathing directly into your heart and shoulders. At some point, one day, maybe, you can grab onto fingers. Take two more breaths. Feel the stretch. As you exhale, release. Other side. Arm up, again, rotating pinky in. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, bend elbow. Take hand. And again, this may be enough. Or you grab on and breathe into it. If you'd like, you can take your other arm behind your back. and use your tie. Or without the tie. Take three more breaths. With every inhale, fill up your chest and shoulders. As you exhale, move <clears throat> shoulders down and reach elbows away. One more very long inhale. And as you exhale, release tie, hands, And bring your palms back down. Notice how there's more aliveness in your shoulders, more connection. For the next part of our shoulder series, sit on the edge of your chair, if that's comfortable for you. You can do this without sitting on the edge. Spread fingers wide, feel your feet on the ground. Now, imagining that there are weights on every single fingertip, so it's really getting your arms heavy, drawing shoulder blades down more. Inhale, keeping those weights there as if somebody is pulling your arm out on either side, just getting it longer and longer, feeling the decompression. 
between your arms and your chest. And bring them out to shoulder height or to the level where your body will go. And as you keep breathing into your heart, keep taking shoulders down. You could just stay here. This is actually a beautiful mindfulness practice and it could be even a little bit more intense than it looks. Or you can begin to turn your palms up and down. Now become mindful of where, what part of your body you're using to turn palms up and down. So let's begin at the wrists. As you breathe, turn palms up and down and just rotate at the wrists. Notice what that feels like. Now, go at your elbows. Notice how this feels different to rotate at your elbows versus at your wrists. Now go at your shoulders. Notice how different this feels. Now, I might be asking you to make some new connections. So you may have to practice this a few times to really start to feel the difference. Are you actually moving at your shoulders versus elbows versus wrists? Now come back to center and release your hands down for a rest. You'll already feel a stretching and a strengthening that happened through your arms. So the idea for this next one is to learn to lift the arms without taking the shoulders up to the ears. I'm going to exaggerate this. Through years of bad posture and just from habitually moving with overworking certain muscles and underusing other muscles, oftentimes we raise our arms and we're like this. So you can see how there's not a lot of space. And that can often be an overuse of these muscles here. This is also the stress, the place where stress gets collected, also known as trapezius muscles. You want to start to turn these muscles on right around your rib cage. Not that you ever have to remember this, but it's called the anterior serratus muscles. So just watch me. I'm going to take my arms up and then rotating at my shoulders. I inhale, exhale, rotating at shoulders, turn palms upwards. Now I feel as I do this, these anterior serratus muscles turned on. They are fired like nobody's business. Now watch the space in my neck and shoulders when I take my arms up. It's really nice. So there's no strain and I feel really supported here. Bring the arms down. Watch if I don't actually rotate my palms in that mindful way. So I'm gonna take my arms up and just take them up. There's less space there. Now it may take some practice. I know it took me some practice to start to feel these muscles turn on. So please be patient with yourself. This is a really valuable tool to start to retrain these muscles in here. So let's do it together. Take your arms down. Inhale. You've got those weights on your hands and you're pulling your arms out. Now breathe into your shoulders so you're staying connected here. Spread fingers wide. Reach your arms out. Now let's turn the palms up, rotating at the shoulders. Bring your shoulders down as you turn your palms up. Inhale into shoulders. Exhale, rotating at shoulders. Take your palms down. You'll know you did it right because you'll feel these muscles turn on. And again, this may take practice, that's fine. Now either stay here or with shoulders still moving down, inhale, bring your arms up to whatever level your arms will go. Keep your hands active, fingers spread wide. Inhale at the top. Exhale, bring your arms down, turn palms down, and release. Let's do it two more times as a flow. Shoulders down, inhale, arms up, feel that stretch. On your next breath, inhale into shoulders. Exhale, turn palms upwards at the shoulder blades. Feel anterior serratus muscles. Inhale, bring your arms up, shoulders down. Exhale, bring your arms down, turn palms down and release. Add extra breath if you need to. One more. Inhale, reach your arms up. 
exhale, rotate at the shoulder blades. Shoulders down, palms up. Inhale, arms up, shoulders down. Exhale, bring your arms down, turn palms down, and release. Notice the length. Notice the sensations in your shoulders and neck. Definitely, the more you start to breathe and open up your rib cage, you'll feel them stretching. You'll actually feel a workout. The more you learn to use these muscles, you'll feel more strength here. So let's move on to the wrist. You can stay sitting on the edge or you can sit back if you need to. So take your right hand out, turn your palm up. And all you're gonna do is inhale, pull your fingers down, exhale, and draw it in like a fist. Inhale, pull fingers down, exhale, make a fist and draw in. Now look at your wrist and focus your breath here. And take the time to really feel the stretch. Keep your shoulder blades in their sockets and make sure you're isolating the movement so it's at wrist and hand. Now come back to center, spread fingers, and just go from side to side. Keep your fingers spread wide. The more you open up your hands, the more you stretch your wrist. Now come back to center. And what you can do for the next one is just to use your hand to help draw it in more. And as you exhale, spread fingers and pull it down. If this feels too intense, stay with the original. So you're just getting more fluidity and mobility in your wrists and hands. Do one more. Exhale and release. Turn palms up and feel the difference in vibrancy in your right versus your left. Other side. Inhale, flex. Exhale, make a fist and point. Keep your gaze, keep your mind right on your wrists. Shoulder blades move down. Shoulders stay on your back. Even keep your feet on the floor, sit bones on the ground. Come back to center and go from side to side. Do be aware if you're kind of having non-active hands. You want to spread your fingers wide. That will create more space in the joints of your wrists. Coming back to center, using your hand along, inhale, pull it in. Exhale, stretch out. Keep noticing shoulders down the back. If this is too intense, make it softer or even do it without the hand. One more. And notice the sensations now in your hands and in your wrist. Take a breath. Our final wrist series. Take your arms out, lift them up, palms face down. Notice if your shoulders are up, draw shoulders down. Turn your fingers up. You'll feel a beautiful stretch between neck and shoulders, even opening up a little bit of the, the nerves between neck and shoulders. Take shoulders down, pretend you've got a wall pressing on your hands. Now it gets tempting to let your fingers be a little bit bent, so as much as possible, spread fingers wide, pull your fingers back towards your face. Now you could stay here, this can be pr plenty intense. Or inhale all the way into your wrists. Exhale, stretching your fingers one by one. Reach your pinkies out and down. Ring fingers, shoulders down, middle, index, thumb. Point your knuckles straight down. Feel this. Keep shoulders moving down. Now release. Other side. Turn your palms up. Inhale, arms up. Again, you could stay here. Shoulders move down. Feel that stretch. 
or turn your fingers down as you keep breathing into this. Notice if your fingers are spread wide. Inhale. Exhale, pinkies out and up. Ring finger, middle, index, thumb, and point your knuckles upwards. Feel that stretch in wrists and forearms. And release. You're welcome to repeat those a few times. It can be really nice. Our final part of the series, stretching the jaw. Very simple. It's like you're yawning. So you have two options here. You can inhale, open your mouth wide, and close. And if you want to get a little bit more exuberant here, <laughs> you can inhale and stick your tongue to your chin and then bring it back in. They're also welcome to just stay for a moment and hang out a little bit and breathe into your jaw. Put your hands on that joint right between your ear and your jaw because you can actually feel this joint moving. And as you continue to do this, and I'm gonna talk, I can't really talk and do this at the same time. As you continue to do this, just notice the joint mobility and you may notice that one's a little bit more uneven than the other. And go really slowly and see if you can just create a little bit more of an evenness as you do this. Of course, if there's any pain, don't push yourself. Two more times. Release your hands down, close your eyes. And finishing with our mindfulness relaxation, also known as Shavasana. Closing both eyes, you can either sit on the edge or you can sit back on your chair. Feel free to lay down on your back if you prefer. Take some long, slow, deep breaths through your whole body. And just as you put so much attention in connecting to your body parts and moving them, now allow your breath to be automatic. Scanning your body from toes to head for any place that's holding on. And using your mind, allow yourself to relax. You may find yourself so relaxed that your brain waves slow down and you could almost be in that space of going to sleep. If you find that your mind is more active, then you can say to yourself, shoulder is relaxing. So you can go through any body part that feels like it's tense or holding. And you can breathe into that area and remind it to relax. As if it's already happening now, speaking in the present tense in your head. Neck is relaxing. Brain is relaxing. Jaw is relaxing. Allow yourself to rest here. Either using that meditation or you're already so relaxed that you can simply focus on sensation without words.
I hope you enjoyed the last practice we just did and that you feel the difference in connection and space in your shoulders, your neck, your wrists, and your jaw. And hopefully feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more calm, a little bit more relaxed from that final mindfulness meditation. And thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon.